and a lot of them seem like worked well you had a perfect pk almost perfect five on five uh, Kapo was awesome uh, what more can you ask for him well we're just going to enjoy this obviously you know we've been kind of trending in this direction you know a couple wins chance to win the anaheim in anaheim had the lead against florida and uh just feels good to come out and play the way we did to start the game we did i thought we really set the pace and the tempo I thought we defended hard. Our puck play was probably as good as it's been all year. I thought we moved the puck well, worked hard for each other, and you know it's nice to get the get a bounce or two here or there and uh, take advantage of our opportunities. So it was a great win. Giovanni right back after the score. <laughs> well, listen, they were hot, so I thought, why not get them back out there and you know they do it again. So I mean that line was good all night, and they you know. Leading into the game, we've been talking about it. They've been uh, they've been doing a good job. I know Cunny's uh, just kind of put that line together, just because you know when you put lines together, you you take into consideration how all four lines look. So uh, and it paid off today. David, you talked a lot about the defensive work and you know taking bodies to the neutral zone. It looked like you guys created a lot of offensive turnovers for the like in the offensive zone and a lot of icings, a lot of a lot of chances created. Was that a point of emphasis? What worked so well in the forecheck tonight? Yeah, I thought we played on our toes all night long. I thought we did a much better job not giving them time and space. And, um, you know, we forced turnovers through the neutral zone. I thought, you know, we had a little bit more of a willingness and a desire to defend the red line and pressure pucks. And, you know, it allowed us to build that lead. It looked like the defense was pinching a little bit more aggressively, but it wasn't like bad timing pinches. It looked like there was responsible pinches, but they were more frequent. Is that is that something you guys talked to the defense? You talked about being more alert at the point. Yeah, it was actually part of the uh, pre-scout today. It was about you know our D being a little bit more on top of people, you know, checking the weak side to make sure you get F3 so you can get involved. I think we've been pretty passive uh, lately, and I think that can happen when you've been losing the way we have. I think you play with a little bit of fear, and I thought, I thought we played fearless tonight, and uh, when you do that, good things happen. Can that carry over that sort of attitude, that sort of approach? Maybe? I sure the hell hope so. That's the plan. <laughs> 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 you know, and I thought we did some of it against Florida, you know, and this is a work in progress, right? We've got a lot of new faces here, and, you know, our guys uh, have been through a lot, and I give them a ton of credit because we've stuck through some difficult times, and, you know, here we are, you know, we won a third game here at home uh, in the last five, and, um, well, that's four, right? That's four. So, you know, but overall, I think we're just playing better hockey. You know, speaking of deep, they didn't give a lot of secondary chances. They got to the loose pucks very quickly after one shot, and it was over. So what do you thought about that tonight? Well, that was something that we really harped on yesterday in practice. I thought we needed to be quicker to loose pucks. I thought we were giving way too much time in the D zone. Obviously, towards the end of the game, it got squirrely there. You're up 5 nothing. You know, the games like that, the last 10 minutes can be a little bit misleading. But I thought overall we, you know, we cleared people out around the net. We didn't give up second chances. I thought we defended harder, and I thought we did a better job breaking pucks out, whether it be off of a chip in or off a of structure. What well, can you say about how Ryan Carpenter has stabilized the position for you guys since his call up? He's done a really good job. You know, he's a reliable player. Um, a lot of times, guys, you know, when a shift ends and if nothing good happens, they're disappointed. You know, Ryan takes a lot of pride in playing the right way and. You know, hook him off the ice and nothing has happened and he feels good about it because sometimes that's a good shift, you know, so. Um, but a lot happened for him in his line tonight. They said over there that, you know, they didn't bring the intensity really from the start. Did it look like to you that maybe I underestimated you guys tonight? Well, listen, I can't speak for, you know, their mindset, but I can only worry about our team and focus on what we did and I can't control whether your opponents, you know, bring in energy or not. You know, I can just gauge our team and you know measure whether we're playing with an intensity and a pace and getting better and I thought we did that tonight. So coach going into that third period were you happy the way they handled prosperity that big lead and going to the third period and not giving it up? Yeah I thought so for the most part yeah I did I thought we did a really good job with that you know you can start cheating a little bit when you're you know, when you get a four or five goal lead and I thought for the most part Listen, you know, first time it's happened all year, so it was new to us. So uh, we're going to be able to learn some lessons from tonight. There was a reaction on the bench when Giovanni scored. Well, they were incredibly happy, and they were incredibly happy when he walked in the locker room, too. So, you know, he's played well for us. He's done a good job. It's nice to see him get rewarded on the score sheet. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of dirty work for this team. You know, just, uh, what has he brought here? And, you know, the Sharks made an investment in him, gave him a two-year deal. What's, what's he brought to this team? You know, he doesn't get... 
Well, obviously he's brought some size and a hardness to our lineup that we sorely needed, and he can also play hockey. Um, I think you've seen some of the plays he's made. And he's, in lot, he's involved in scoring chances for uh, quite a bit uh, throughout the season, uh, and he understands how to do it, right? It's not cute, but he makes a, a skilled play uh, on Cunning's goal, and uh, you know he has, he has an understanding of how to create offense. A game like this, is it good for uh, Zidane's uh, confidence? What do you think of his game tonight? I liked Phillips' game. I like the way his game's trending. He's worked so hard. He's so coachable. He's, you know, his problem is he's so hard on himself. You know, and sometimes he's got to move past uh, a shift maybe where things don't go the way he wants. And but uh, you can see him getting better and better. David, back to Giovanni. He was the 300th player, different player to score for the Sharks franchise. He said that's a pretty cool thing. He's going to call his family. What does it mean to know that? Like, that's a pretty cool achievement for, for a guy like that. Yeah, it is. And I mean, anytime you're part of uh, an organization's milestone, it's pretty special. So I'm really happy for him, you know, on top of being productive on the score sheet tonight, but, you know, being part of that type of milestone. Speaking of score sheet, how good was it to see Hoffman get two goals tonight? It was good. You know, Hoff had a good night the other night. His game's trending in the right direction on top of scoring. He played with a little bit of an edge tonight. I liked his game tonight. He said you needed to put the pucks in the net. I think he followed his advice. What's that? He said yesterday, uh, after the last game that they need to do a better job putting the puck in the net. Do you well, think the five, we'll advice? take five. I'll, I'll take five, yeah. <laughs> he followed his advice. How's Fabian last after blocking that shot? Fabian's doing very well. Has uh, Hoffman uh, dealt with uh, this season just in terms of uh, his playing time has you know, gone up and down, sometimes he's on a power play, off the power play. Obviously a guy in his career is used to scoring a lot and being in the you know, top six role. He's handled it well. Listen, it's, it hasn't been easy for him. I know when you get later in your career, you, you know, your responsibilities change. He and I have had plenty of conversations. He knows what's expected of him, and I like the way he's handled it. And, you know, he's going to continue to get rewarded because he's played well. Thanks, David. Awesome. Thank you.